Hi everybody. In this short video, I'm going to show you how to remove this black, black background using C Sharp and NuGet package data juggler.pixel database. If you know SQL for databases, you know 90% of BQL, which is bitmap query language. Now before I show you on a quick Windows form app I threw together, I'm going to show you a demo on the live site, which is pixeldatabase.net. It's a free online text-based image editor. And here I want to get rid of the black background, so I just say hide on the next line, total less than 15. And that will get rid of our black background. Really quickly how that works is if I turn the color picker on and reset the image, you can see that total here, which is just the sum of red plus green plus blue, is zero for black, and the different colors here are going to be quite a bit higher. The gold is even brighter in parts, but some of the some of this is very dark here, but it's still brighter than the black of zero, so that's how this works. Another thing I could do if I wanted to, I could uh, on the next line I could just say y greater than 544 and just hit apply and that would do only the bottom, you know, it's just the coordinates of the x and y. So I wrote this because paint.net is a great free graphics program and it does an awful lot and some of the plugins even extend it more. But with Pixel Database you can manipulate images and it's, uh, I think it's pretty awesome. And the next thing I'm going to do is show you a quick Windows form app that I threw together. So let me, uh, I'll, uh, the first thing you need to do though in a Windows form app for your own project, it can be well, I use it on a Blazor site also, but if you're going to add this to your own project, just browse for datajuggler.pixel database. And then once you have it loaded, I'll go ahead and show you here. All I do is in this, I've got this control here. This is called a label text box browser control, and it's basically just a label, a text box, and an open file dialog, or you can open folders also if you change the browse type, but that's another story. Uh, where's browse type? Somewhere up here. That's where, if you're going to select folders, but that's an, this video is about files. So, or just for this. What we're going to do now is I'll just run it, but the, the way this works is this form here implements the iText changed interface, and that just means whenever you select a file, it's going to call this method here on text changed or event. And all I do here is use the pixel database loader and I pass in a path and this is an optional delegate. I don't need to get a callback for this. And then here I set the background image to the pixel database dot direct bitmap dot bitmap, which is the underlying image that you're manipulating. And this direct bitmap class is the secret to pixel database because it's much faster than manipulating bitmaps directly. And now I'll just run the form and just show you. So if I um, select my image and I just have it going into this picture box here and sizing it and then here I hit remove background okay and that will get rid of the black background now let's say you only wanted to get rid of maybe like the top part of the image kind of so I can I could add one more line here that just says plus environment dot new line plus and I will say y greater than 544 so that was the same example the, the one difference between SQL and BQL is each criteria must be on its own line. It was just a, I wrote that parser in about one day, but it's worked for me for several years. And now if I run this, you'll see it only removed the background for the pixels that are greater than Y. That was my short demo of NuGet package data juggler .pixel database. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. Thanks for watching.